if you just check out the website. Oops, not that. Um, your thing just died. Okay, you're back. So this is Teammate. I'll just give you a short demo of how it works. Basically, it opens up a Tmux set. Well, yeah, creates a Tmux session on your local machine, and it gives you an SSH URI that you can share with your pair or collaborators, and they can just SSH in there and, and work with you. So I'm going to start up Teammate. There it is. And I can say Teammate show <coughs> messages, and if I can have a volunteer from the audience, please uh, SSH into this <laughs> URL. <laughs> uh, I can paste it into IRC. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, so a bunch of people have joined. Um, yeah. Um, that. That's someone here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Please don't do that. <laughs> so check it out. Let's um, let's uh, get into Emacs um, and let's write some code. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Check this out. Um, yeah. That's just like Emacs telling me it's ready. And so, what do you guys want to do? Let's uh, let's do Fibonacci in Ruby. Uh, so, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Oh, I don't know who that is, but allow me to come up with a better answer. What happened to the? So there's like there's six people here um, connected, <laughs> and I don't know what's going on. But where can you see the cop? So there's like you see down here, like six oh, mates. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Um <laughs> Yeah. Um I'm gonna get out of this right now before someone like deletes <laughs> everything. <laughs> okay. Uh kill teammate. Cool. That's collaborative coding. <laughs> With teammate. No, it's Proxy like so. Teammate, they have a server somewhere oh, that they. Your own, I just think. Yeah, like. So I can code somewhere. Can you run it yourself? You can run it yourself. Yeah, um, the code is on GitHub, and you can host your own server. It's somewhere here. Yeah. Um, Does it let you like require a password? You, you, well, you so, so there's like a, there's a read-only URL, like if you want to just like do a pairing interview with someone or something, there's that. Um, but I think if you host your own server, you could definitely have a password and access to that. How do you like control the permissions of other users who are logging in so they can't like delete everything? You know, <laughs> they're in, right? Uh, well, you there, you can give them a, the read-only URL. So, like, let's say if I do teammate, uh, and then I say teammate show messages, and then only share the read-only one with the pairs. Use that, and then like just clear it, so you can say, hey everyone, or paste this wherever you want. Use SSH RO is probably for read-only. And once they use that, they can't do anything. So I'm going to paste this into that and see if anyone. Okay, two mates connected. Yeah. And now I'm the only. Oh, crap. Um, yeah. Now I'm the only one who can do stuff. And so, start up my Emacs, and I can code, and I can do stuff. And 
and that's teammate, basically. Who's the cartoon down here? Oh, okay. How do you so, get that to happen? So that's Nancat. That works only in uh, the GUI version. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a cat. So that, that shows you where you are in the document. 